Imagine looking up at the sky. No bombers, no sirens, just a flash of light. In an instant, the ocean boils. Steel bridges melt like wax, and an entire city is incinerated in silence. This wasn't science fiction. This was the Sonnengewehr, the sun gun. In the dying days of World War II, while the world celebrated peace, Nazi scientists were finalizing a plan to turn the sun itself into a weapon of mass destruction. May 5, 1945. Hillersleben, Germany. The Third Reich has collapsed. U.S. Army Lieutenant James Sterling enters a bombed-out artillery proving ground looking for rockets. Instead, hidden in the debris, he finds the impossible. Detailed calculations for a mirror, three miles wide. The math was terrifyingly perfect. The plan? Launch a massive reflector made of metallic sodium into a 5,100-mile orbit. Like a child with a magnifying glass burning ants, this station would focus solar energy onto any point on Earth. They weren't just building a gun, they were building the ultimate high ground. A weapon that could burn Pittsburgh or Moscow with zero warning. No defense, no escape. But here's the twist that chilled the Allies to the bone. The weapon was the bait. The real goal was the platform. The blueprints featured airlocks, oxygen recyclers, artificial gravity. The Nazis had inadvertently designed the world's first space station. We didn't destroy these plans, we stole them. Under Operation Paperclip, the U.S. brought these scientists home. The technology designed to burn the world eventually built the satellites that guide our cars and the station where astronauts sleep tonight. We reached the stars, but we did it by standing on the shoulders of monsters.